Goat format gets its name from the strongest perceived deck at the time, Goat Control. This deck primarily abused Metamorphosis to summon Thousand Eyes Restrict while using a number of strong standalone cards to slowly gain advantage. Although Goat Control is generally perceived to be the strongest deck of the format, there are plenty of other decks that give it a run for its money. In this format, players follow the April 2005 ban list and uses booster sets up to the Lost Millennium, the reprint Dark Beginnings 2, and Tournament Pack 6, but it does not include the card Exeron Universe or the booster set Cybernetic Revolution. Playing this format also means using cards from this era as well as the original effects from this era and not erratas later printed by Konami. Given its large following, it's easy to see why many players love this old school format. Simple effects, lack of archetypes, long games, and classic cards are huge draw-ins for players new and old. Games often last many turns, resulting in more opportunities for players to express their skill through continuous decision making and planning. Unlike modern Yu-Gi-Oh, which focuses on huge turns with many combos to create large fields, this format is focused on building card advantage over time and rewarding correct decision making. It is largely considered a player with more skill and experience will win more often than a player lacking in these respects. However, there can be skill expressed through more than just play. It can be shown in creative deck building or deck decks. Decks are cards in your deck that can turn the tide of battle when playing versus certain matchup. There's a deck for any type of player when it comes to GOAT format, from max rarity decks to all common decks, beatdown, combo, control, first turn kills, and even meme decks make this an approachable format for almost any player. Over time, Konami has made multiple reprints for cards that are used in GOAT format, making this a very cheap entry point for players just starting out in GOAT format. I have been able to make many decks for around $50 and often can get many common cards for free from players from my locals and my friends because the cards are not worth much if you choose to make a cheap version of a deck. Just be sure to use the correct cards and not the errata versions of those cards. Becoming a top level GOAT player requires a number of different skills including making reads or predictions about your opponent's cards, bluffing, risk taking, planning two to three turns ahead, tempo, and resource management. Learning, building, and applying these concepts through your games and tournaments offer players even more fun than just the cards themselves. Many card games require these skills and concepts to become a great player, whether it's current Yu-Gi-Oh! or another card game. It's just one more reason to check out this amazing format. Getting into Go Format is easy, with so many dedicated sites that can teach, give advice, feature deck lists, and hold tournaments. YouTube also has many videos to increase your knowledge of this format, as well as live duels to get a better understanding of how to play your cards in the optimal way, as well as getting yourself some interesting ideas. In part 2 I'll be taking a look at deck lists, understanding your cards as well as modern influences on the format. Thanks for watching.